As evidence mounts about how gum disease may place people at greater risk for costly oral and other health problems, the call for public awareness and good prevention efforts gets louder. What we need, very importantly, to convey to the public is that behind that smile, we have to have a healthy mouth. And it's the health of the mouth that we feel is extremely important in contributing to uh, the health of the body. Okay, what's your first and last name? Jacqueline. Jacqueline Matthews feels lucky to be getting expensive dental work done at a reduced rate by local dental students. Matthews recently lost three teeth to gum disease. I was very shocked to learn that I was going to lose some teeth, considering the fact that I was a regular person to go to the dentist regularly. Matthews was even more surprised at the price her private dentist quoted for replacements. He was talking about, you know, maybe fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. And I don't know about you, but um, that, 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 that amount of money for that type of work just doesn't fit in our budget. Matthews is the wife of C.J. Matthews, pastor of one of the largest churches in Cleveland. When they took over the ministry, the couple left full-time jobs with benefits. Now they pay for health insurance themselves. And like most people without employer-based coverage, they decided to drop their dental plan. We waited this last time to look at what we pay out of pocket versus the premium. It made no sense to pay the premium for us. Can you go ahead and open and close? The kind of work Jacqueline Matthews needs is out of reach for many Americans these days, whether or not they have insurance. That's because most dental plans are designed to cover relatively inexpensive preventative procedures but max out or have tight restrictions on major restorative dentistry. Preventative services are always covered 100%. It doesn't matter what plan it is. It's, it's usually 100%. That would be your exams, your cleanings, your x-rays, and that type of thing. Um, what they start to, to, to limit is things beyond those services, things like crowns and implants and, and bridges and things that replace teeth and, 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 and give you better function. Given the current system, experts say the best thing anyone can do is try and prevent expensive problems from happening in the first place. That starts with regular visits to the dentist for checkups and cleanings. And the cheapest and most effective action that virtually everyone knows is brush and floss. But not everyone stops to think about exactly why doing both is so important. So pull the floss like this, slide up and down, Scoot over this way, make it a C shape also, and again... While brushing removes bacteria on the front of the teeth, flossing is needed to get rid of it on the sides before it hardens and turns into tartar. Failure to brush and floss puts you at an increased risk for gum disease. So does smoking or having a family history of gum disease. Once gum disease develops, it's too late for prevention and time for treatments deep cleanings known as scaling and root planing. Dentists use special instruments to remove plaque and tartar on the tooth surface all the way to the bottom of those pockets of inflammation. Sometimes a local anesthetic is used. The gum is a little bit loose, it's, it's, it's called a pocket, so that it goes down into that cavity. And if, if you push it down hard at the bottom, it hurts. More drastic measures to treat advanced gum disease involve gum surgery. Do you see how in the back here where the gum tissue yeah. kind of came up over the tooth? That's an area Another that preventative that's action dentists can take involves sealants, coating the grooves of a tooth with a chemical compound to prevent cavities. We put a primer on the tooth and then we flow this plastic-like liquid and within a minute it's, it's hard and it protects the tooth and it prevents bacteria from getting stuck in those grooves. If you still think flossing and other prevention methods aren't vital for healthy teeth and your pocketbook, take another look at the bacteria Dr. Basada found living on my teeth. People don't believe until they see that. And this is a very good incentive for the individual to take care of his own mouth. So we want to have you come across and do all the surfaces of the teeth the cheek side, the tongue side, and then the biting side, okay? 
experts say prevention needs to start early by teaching children just how important the health of the mouth really is. Your oral health has a lot to do with your overall body and for a long period of time and, and, and during my career it's, it's been one of those things where it's finally starting to, people are starting to figure out, hey your mouth is part of your body. I think you're, it's as important to keep your mouth healthy as it is to keep your heart healthy. Well I think as we're going through health care reform, the, the discussion of dental does not need to be left out because oral hygiene and dental health is so significant to your overall health that it's unfortunate that many people probably, given the set of circumstances with health care as well as dental premiums and what they cover and don't cover, probably aren't getting the proper care. To experts, the bottom line is clear. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Be sure to visit our special Watch Your Mouth website where you can watch, listen, and link to relevant information and valuable resources. Go to health.wviz.org. You'll find web-exclusive stories about groundbreaking dental research being done right here in Northeast Ohio. You will also find links to local, regional, and national resources, plus multiple opportunities for your input and feedback. Go to health.wviz.org. Funding for the special health series, Watch Your Mouth, comes from the Dr. Donald Goodman and Ruth Weber Goodman Philanthropic Fund of the Cleveland Foundation, the Mount Sinai Healthcare Foundation, the Margaret Clark Morgan Foundation, the McGregor Foundation, St. Luke's Foundation, the Sisters of Charity Foundation of Cleveland, the Woodruff Foundation, the Kaiser Foundation Health Plan of Ohio, and the United Black Fund of Greater Cleveland, Incorporated.